Hey America, Chef John, get a gourmet. And I'm back, sort of. I mean, I got a, a new battery. So we're gonna start filming church again. And I need to make some new bread. That's the last of the bread. And oops, I bought light mayonnaise. What the heck is wrong with me? I buy everything like this is whole milk, mozzarella. Did some more shopping today. Spent. You there? Yeah, there you there. Hey. New batteries work really well. $31. Hey, 13 backwards. And, um, Primoons, Raisins, whole thing, a uh, big thing of, um, thighs. They were out last week. Thighs. Everybody's getting into thighs. Everybody's talking about the thigh being the best cut. Oh, what I'm making here is a, uh, I took, um, some golden Italian dressing, marinated it with, um, Excuse me. I had a workout today. My neck is killing me. It has been for four, uh, four or five days. I'm gonna drink a little half a beer and see if I can kind of knock things right, settle things right. Had an okay day, worked out, got, got the battery. Hopefully I'll get my phone contacts back because I lost seven years phone contacts. There's some people I really, you know, important people I need to speak to who don't watch my show and I'll never be able to contact unless I have my phone and they move a lot but we always kind of keep in contact because we're we're brothers of a certain sort and we always watch out for each other have have been for a long time so the sandwich over here I put it on slow for a reason I have alright this head of lettuce I bought last month at the beginning of last month and just now, I'm starting to have to go and tear stuff off. Alright, that's pretty good. Um, I've got, we got a snap increase. I'm still full snap because I did not lower my bill in this household. Oh, my gosh. I mean, uh, the kitchen looks really nice. And if I had no furniture and was just moving in with a couple of pieces... It would be great, but I was like living, living, living with like a whole bunch of like things all together. And yeah, I'm ghetto and you know, my dad wants to buy me a bunch of new stuff so I don't look ghetto. And I'm like, but dad, people are poor and I'm poor and I'm trying to raise my people up. I thought about it for a while, you know. I mean, I guess I do have to look. I know I don't wear a suit and tie, I man. I'm, I'm wearing... I've been wearing a tie since I was in seventh grade. Yeah, I was still being taught. I was in uh, um, private school. Um, I was still being taught evolution and creation. <laughs> seventh grade, 1980. I don't have a spatula. Uh, work with what I got. All right, and this is marinated in golden Italian for. Two days. Let me finish this on the um, on the deck. So I'm gonna put some zing into it. I love um, horseradish. I love things that kick your system into gear a couple times a week, once or twice. Hot food, beer does it. A little bit of beer will kick your system into gear. Running, spicy food, plums are a must now because of my new medication, but they're also a good thing to help you motivate your system. Bananas, um, whole whole grains and foods, coffee we know, but that's not a good way to motivate your system. Same with chocolate. <laughs> but things like horseradish, ginger, garlic, peppers, um, wasabi, um, there's just... There's things out there that that you can that you can spice your food with and and put in different additives and, uh, and curry and that they're just gonna whoo, really open your senses really get you sweating or something powerful you know not all the time sometimes I mean, you really gotta listen to your stomach that's what I talk about the most in the past I'm kind of smiling today huh hoo ah hoo ah smiling today. 
Got some things heading my way. Things are going to work out okay. I don't know how, but God seems to say everything will work out okay. He good like that, you know. So we're going to make some bread tonight. I got bread flour. I got um, a big bag of bread flour. Last time they were out and I was scraping the bag and I was holding the bag up sideways and pulling on the thing, what you're really not do, supposed to do. But I am a chef and I make sure I carry a bunch of those little handy wipe things around in my pockets after I go into the store. You know, I thought of that. Me and John Medley were talking about that back in 1989, equipping all the um it was Safeway and Giant on the East Coast and equipping them all with sani machines as you walked in so you could sanitize your hands. I'm always ahead of my time. Sometimes five years, sometimes twenty years. When I was thirteen, I developed a beveled edge frisbee because I played frisbee golf all the time. So I designed a wing. Made sense to me. I knew how the wing worked because I like was very smart. <laughs> and well, anyway, so I drew it down on a piece of paper and I lost that notebook. I wonder if somebody's out there just making millions off that because I had some ideas when I was 13. In 7, 8, 12, magnetic trains and just like all sorts of like science fiction ideas that I'd like take reality and wrap into it. Things that were way beyond concept. Yeah. And I'm like, here they are now. <laughs> Case in point, hey, I'm, you know, I've been putting that thing out. Hey, bomb idea, let's have mandatory two years of community college. But really, look, man, let's look at the whole thing. If we have some people who really want to push and change the community, and we've had people who want to change this world, this community for a long time, and I really don't care what color you are. Because if you pour white, you pour yellow, you pour brown, you pour. And thus, poor people is really, 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 really poor compared to the middle class who have like hundred to two hundred thousand dollars to be middle class now. Okay, really, so put your kids through college and everything. Really, and then you got the rich who are just way beyond any kind of conception that we have in finances at all. That one percent. All right, so you know, yeah, man. All right, here's my sandwich. I was up on a, I'm so tired, <laughs> I'm in a lot of pain, <laughs> hey, America, chef down to get a gourmet, I'm going to make some bread tonight, I got chocolate of course, see, you know how you eat chocolate in my house, you get chocolate like this, you get big old chunks of chocolate and you go whack, 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 and you knock the chocolate, oh that's right, I got to make black bean soup and bread, peace.